Our scattered disciples, the start of the 70 worker disciples. Many people think this is difficult and they are wondering how they must do this. All you have to do is know one thing. Because you are the platform. And you have to make a platform. So it's what platform is the important question. It's not how you do that is important. And so through which you shine the light, you become this watchtower. And you are communicating with God through the antenna. Then there's nothing to worry about. But there is one thing you should worry about. There are people who receive training as disciples and they just leave. Why is that? Things go well. They do strange things and they just leave. Why do they do that? Or if something doesn't go well, they get dismayed and do something else. Why is that? The content is simple. It is because of other motives. And because scattered disciples are important, you must remember this. And so let's say you have a different motive. God cannot send people to this vessel. And so if you have a different motive, then he will send people that will match that motive. Because they might be needed temporarily. But if you have the proper motives, then these will be formed properly. And you could raise disciples in this way. If you raise a disciple and they create the wrong platform, what's going to happen? Just know this. And so Jesus talked about how he watched over them 100%. I will be always with you with all heaven authority and earth. And people might have truly low-level motives, and that is why you must truly have the proper motive. That is why you must always be above common sense. And so uh, you mustn't be below the common sense. Common sense is fine. So if you are above that, God will absolutely send. So why is it these politicians all of a sudden do these very strange things? It's not because they're foolish, it's because of their motives. Their motives become too strong, that's what happens. They continue to make big mistakes. And it is the same for anyone. The scary thing is, if you have the wrong motives, uh, people can say things to you, but you can't hear what they say. If you have a different motive, you hear the pastor's message, and you receive grace, yet it has nothing to do with you. 
세 가지 하세요. Do three things. 여러분들은 부활 메시지를 보고 영원한 것을 찾는 동기를 따라. And so have uh, the resurrection message and have the motive to do the eternal things. This is the resurrection message. Just have that motive. And yes, it is the eternal things, but for us, it is the things of God. You must have the motives to seek that out. The eternal things, the things of God. If you seek that out, the works will continue. And everyone has things ingrained. They act like it is not the case, but everybody has it. It is to change. That motive is good. Don't fill that motive, you must change. It might not seem like much, but these three are very important. Because God knows where the scattered disciples are. God knows and Satan knows as well. The evil spirits, they transcend physical space and time, so they know where you are. And so, if even if you are weak, if you have the correct, proper gospel motive, Satan cannot attack you. No matter how great you are, how well trained you are, if you have the incorrect motive, Satan knows and he will attack with that. And so in the resurrection message, there's something that is always resulting. The throne. This is the eternal thing. The Christ, the Trinity, and the throne, especially the throne, is eternal. And what uh, comes out here? More important than doing something. This is immensely important. Jesus says, follow me. He called to him those he wanted. It's very scary that he called to him those he wanted. Mount Calvary, Mount of Olives, and Mark Supper Room. What is this speaking of? If we just hold to the things of God, God has prepared everything in advance for us. And if the disciples in this manner arise all across China, then the wind of the Holy Spirit will blow. In the early church, it wasn't many to begin with, but the winds of the Holy Spirit blew. And you must think of this. There are motives, there are scars, there are cultures. And more seriously, people have spiritual problems. And you must have the motive to change these things. Completely change it into Christ. That is the person that you need. Just like Stefan. You can't block him. And so he could have been a bit softer, but uh, without any other regard, he spoke the gospel. And Paul, completely, he changed. And 
같은 제자의 만남. The meeting of the same believers. 두 명이면 역사를 납니다. If two people gather, the works will arise. 진짜 이이 올바른 동료를 바꾸주는 이두 사람 만나니까 끝나는 거죠. When two people gather and they're trying to correct their motives, then the works will arise. 자, 이때부터 이제 Starting from then are when the real answers come. And the complete guidance of the Holy Spirit, Acts 2, 1 through 4. If the Holy Spirit guides you perfectly, what will happen? And the background, Philippians chapter 3. So who can block that? This is how it has changed. The background is changed. Who guides me is changed. And these meetings are the meetings that will change the world. You can have these motives. You must remember. And so these three flows will come first. The answers that you cannot see will come first. This is very important. And the healing that you cannot see will take place. You didn't ask for health and God gives you health and you didn't pray for your mental uh, suffering, but God solves that. The power that is invisible to the eyes. This is what's in it. The invisible. How is that person receiving these answers? It's invisible. They have this power that is unseen. And in English, we call it tacit. It isn't visible. It is a term used by the developed countries. Tacit knowledge, the knowledge that is hidden, that is unseen. You cannot visibly see it. Tacit power is the power that you cannot see. They have something that is more important. Because it is an unseen strength, the scattered disciples must have this to truly survive. If God allows you to meet, nobody can block that. And God will allow only the people who will save China to meet together. So don't be dismayed or crumbled over things that might occur. Already that means that that is not the case. When the church faces problems, people who have power, they will pray and get through that situation. They will not be shaken, but if the people don't have the power, they'll be tested and they'll be just like people who have the false motives. So don't worry about anything, but truly enjoy this true peace and power 24 hours a day. God, we thank you. The disciples across the world are confirming their covenant with you. May they see the flow of answers. May they see the flow of the church. May they see the flow of our you and the world. May they be the disciples who always have that power that is unseen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.